Hey everybody, this is Mark from TGC, and today we're gonna open up this thing from Makerzoid in the first of our four-part review. What is this? It's the Superbot! Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, I'm gonna have to honestly say that I'm somewhat excited and not excited to review this. Now, I don't want to show that I don't have excitement for my job, I do. But the issue is, I've spent the last few months writing books about LEGO. Namely, LEGO Technic. This looks a whole lot like LEGO Technic. I'm assuming it's not. Um, and yeah, it could be a different size. I don't know if it's a, um, if you can accommodate the two. Uh, these are things I want to test out. But basically, I'm trying to say like, yeah, I've spent the last, um, few months like in a full-time job doing Lego and man I'm not sure if I really want to see more of it but this I'm very interested in seeing. I saw this at CES last uh, January and I finally got a chance to review it so I'm gonna open this up see what it's like. Okay that's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be um, might have to struggle to keep together after I open it but I'll be glad to give it a shot. Um, so something tells me this is one of those things that comes in separate bags full of things, or it might just come in a big tackle box and everything's organized. Still, let's check this out. Um, oh, hey, okay, so that opens up. It's all in one place that I really like. I mean, okay, first of all, I'm just going to highlight this. It's very handy, isn't it? I mean, uh, granted, I mean, this is a good thing to take on trips. Granted, it would be something I play with on the car right over, but you can hear what I'm saying here. Okay, and voila! All right. So it looks like on the top we have an instruction manual here, and there's also a QR code on the back for a uh, app download made for iOS and Android. Okay, I can tell off the bat this feels like this should be the same size as regular um, Lego Technic. You know what? Heck with it. Let's get some Lego Technic and try it. Okay, um, let's just actually, first let's organize our pieces here. Okay, now on the box, it says that it has a few things. Uh, it has a host controller. I'm guessing it's this. This looks like the host controller. Um, definitely looks like it takes some batteries. Uh, not sure how that comes off. We'll get to that when we get to that. And then it says it has two sensors. So I'm assuming these are sensors right here. And, um, and of course we got these uh, wheels here, so kind of, well, actually, shoot, you probably can't see that. It's got wheels. What else does it have? Rubber bands and whatever the heck this is. This, I can't tell. This looks like a uh, part of the spatula fell off. But hey, let's find out. But wait, there's more because these things also include I'm going by Lego Technic names here, so these are beans. These are some bricks and some connector units. Let's call them that. Axles. That's a definite Lego name I'm stealing. Oh, we have regular Lego bricks. Okay, okay. They look like Lego bricks. They're not. Uh, they definitely don't have... Actually, do they? Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, hang on a second. I don't have a magnifying glass, but if I looked closely... Because, you know... Uh, yeah, okay. Every LEGO brick has a little um, thing on it that says LEGO, or every LEGO stud. This doesn't. But, unfortunately, my vision is not so good that I can even see what it is without a magnifying glass. Check that out later. Okay, then we got some tiles here. Nice. And we've got these connector pegs and these particular gears and more connector pegs. Now for the price you are going to pay for this, you could get the same amount of logo at double the price, or same amount. <laughs> now if you were to buy these things in Lego, uh, like a brick link or something like that, I guarantee you it would probably pay double the price. So I think you're kind of getting a deal with this. But then there's a question of what you can do. All right, I ran and got some uh, Lego Technic bricks here. Um, I see no point in introducing them because I've introduced several of them. 
that looked very similar there. I'm going to open up the beans, and if this works, I'm going to keep these separate. These could very easily get mixed up. So, oh yeah. Oh man. Okay. I do go to the gym every day, by the way. Jeez, what the heck? Okay, I had to get a knife to cut up food in that bag. All right, here's a regular piece. And, uh, oh gosh, okay. So, the moment of truth now. Does it, is it compatible? And the answer is, nee, nee, nee. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, these, uh, these look like the, the exact same uh, size as that. So, this isn't like uh, Jimu Robots. This is a, um, yeah, Jimu Robots. I don't think I ever did a video review of that, but I actually wrote a book on that and uh, did several reviews on their products. But yeah, it's basically, hmm. Get yourself some really cool stuff here. So, I am, before I open all these bags and get to playing, I need to know what I'm playing with here. So I got this instruction booklet, and yeah, I've got lots of things here. Okay, so okay, all right. I, all right, it looks like I need some AA batteries to make this work. I sort of expected that, unfortunately I've got enough that from the Lego controllers. Um, there's also a app for this, I believe, and yeah. Oh, okay. There's actually instructions in here about how to make these things, which I'm, I'm totally cool for. Uh, let's see, I got a pull back car. And, and, oh gosh. Okay, these get pretty much in detail. Okay, there is a lot on here, and it looks like this thing has some sort of motor thing on something. So um, I'm guessing this is sort of a, let's see, how do, how do I put this? If you work with Lego, they used to have the thing called Mindstorms and they had this like brick which served as like a CPU and then you could attach like lots of things to it. And yeah, that's kind of how that worked out. So. Okay, so we got a lot we can do here with the pullback car, which is on here. Uh, this. Dragon Tiger Chariots, and then we have a plow car, which I guess you can take control of. And you know what? I'm darn curious about this. I'll bet you anything. I'm gonna download the app now, and I'll bet you anything I can find like all the instructions for these things on it. And if so, we're gonna have to build a few things. That's for sure. Also, we're gonna have to get batteries for this thing. So, and then figure out what any of these are for. Huh, weird. Okay, so I figured I was going to need to download the app, and I'm doing currently doing that right now on this other phone. Yeah, this should be fun. Uh, we're going to see if we can build something out of this uh, really quick. Actually, maybe not really quick. Yeah, we might have to do one of those time-lapse things or something like that, but uh, we're going to have fun, okay? Okay, I have the SuperBot set here, and okay, the app itself starts out and with a basically a bunch of... Man, Okay, they have a lot of stuff here. So honestly, um, I said this is a four part series and I'm gonna be reviewing like a different kit each day this week. And um, yeah, you're gonna see this. However, I don't think I'm done. I think I'm gonna do more of this because this looks like it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so let's scroll down to where it says Superbot. So we've got that and there's the thing. So here's what I'm hoping I can do. Okay, um, all right, this is what I expected. Not only can you build this stuff, you can control it, which honestly, I'm looking forward to doing. So the building thing probably has instructions. And hmm, just so I'm safe here in explaining this thing, you can build a tiger, a plow car, SUV, football robot, what the heck? Uh, tricycle, sumo robot, also what the heck? A chariot, a chariot, the dragon tiger chariot, as previously discussed, the planetary system, mm. wow, uh, and the drawing machine, <laughs> a telegraph machine, <laughs> a delivery man, I can build a delivery man, and a music box, what the heck, there's a music box on there? That's, that's just nuts. 
Um, a paper crane robot? Like it can make paper cranes? Oh my gosh. And then there's a bighorn car, a jet car, holy cats. Batmobile, oh my gosh, that's that's a copyright violation. 18 uh, point F1 and a bird. That's 19 models. Wow. Okay, part of me realizes that honestly, I can really only give so much time to devoting to reviewing a certain product, but this has several things that I definitely want to see how I can actually take control of. And I want to see if I can, um, what I want to do is do the one that I think will take me the least amount of time, but I think, huh. This SUV is calling my name here, but it's it's a it's a big one. So let's see what we got here. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the SUV. Doing the SUV. How about it? Hit and build. Download now. Okay, so I gotta download the tutorial. And here it is. Okay, they've got the tutorial right here. And so, hmm. And what's interesting is there is actually like a. Tutorial has like a this or this. I've never seen that in any Lego instructions. Okay, so the following, I'm just gonna leave the camera running and uh, just build this thing. Or maybe I'd, I might turn it off in case uh, it gets boring, because it could. So, all right, time to do this. Gotta open up some bags, call it good. All these bags are tight. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna shut these off so I can uh, just open up with some knives. <laughs> Okay, this is where it's gonna get kind of tricky because I'm gonna have to uh, show you this, but I did make the go-kart. This is it. Yeah, this actually took me about an hour to make and I really like it because, and I'll try to make this really clear, you can take control of it because it comes preloaded with the app. So here's some, a little bit of control, see? I can make it turn too. It'll turn on a dime, or even if motion, if I can use these things. Fortunately, I'm holding my phone, so I can't really do that. However, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so oof, I sure made quite a thing on here. Uh, one bonus about this thing I want to talk about is how easy you can get the batteries out. It's like right here. Uh, a lot of Lego creations, uh, they don't really make that easy. This one, kind of like it. Okay, so with all the creations on this, am I really going to build them all? And um, I feel like I really need to talk about the coding because um, this thing, uh, it really emphasizes it. And uh, if I don't do it on this one, I'll do it on my other reviews I want to do of these products. Okay, for now I'm going to get you a price point, and this is, like I said, very low. Uh, right now, um, it's at the uh, Maker's Oat site for about $59.90. Uh, that's marked down from $79.90. So, um, that's, I think that is American dollars. And I swear to you, like, you can get a Technic toy that wouldn't do this much with that much uh, price. And these things work together with Technic bricks. So, this could be a way, if you're a LEGO enthusiast, to work on that. But if you're a LEGO purist and you have to use only LEGO bricks, yeah, uh, this probably wouldn't be for you. But hey, um, that concludes part one of our Makerzoid report. And we'll be sure to have some fun on the next one, too.